Hello and welcome to this guide to investing and collecting in art. I'm Ross Westgate, executive producer of The Art Show, and I'm with James Nichols, director and curator of the Maddox Gallery in Mayfair in London. James, there's a lot of interest now in collecting art. What's driving that? Well, it's quite phenomenal because of all the interest in art galleries, art shows, affordable art fairs, young people, social media, Instagrams, websites, internet, you can find out so much more. And artists are just emerging all the time, every month. Uh, you know, new artists are coming out. So there's this great, great thirst. And you've got markets like Qatar, you've got Hong Kong, China, uh, just new developing markets like India, for example. And the art is such a, a thirst for new artworks and investment artworks. That's what's driving the market. Apparently more people now visit art galleries in the UK than go to Premier League games. What's underlying this explosion in interest? Because people resonate with art a lot more and there's things from sculptures to installations to paintings to different style. We've just acquired some work from uh, an artist who uses paint brushes as a background, which are phenomenal. His name's Finn Stone. So there's a diversification of what really is art. But how does art compare to other investments? For example, how did it do during the financial crisis of 2008? Art did not fall at all. As a matter of fact, in the last four years, it smashed all records and is continuing to do so. James, thank you. Thank you, Ross.